In the frigid expanse of the North Atlantic, between Iceland and Scandinavia, lie the Faroe Islands. Beautiful and isolated, these windswept shores will shortly be the setting of a desperate struggle between opposing navies. This is Shards. Shards is a 42 by 42 kilometer domination style map with three cap points running in a line from southwest to northeast. The A cap is in the bottom left, B is in the center, and C is in the top right. Changes made to Shards in update 0.8.1 have made it a very unpopular map in some regions, and many teams remain uncomfortable playing on it. In the lower left and upper right corners of the map, the A and C caps pose quandaries for both teams. Half of each cap circle is wide open, while the other half is constricted by islands that form a narrow set of channels. How they choose to handle these corner caps forms the backbone of a team's strategy for dealing with shards. Some teams will opt to try and capture from the side most open to them, forcing the enemy to attack through the channels. Others will opt to push through the channels quickly and bag the cap themselves, then use the open side of the cap for defense. At the center of all this chaos lies Cap B with its own maddening configuration. Islands punctuate the circular cap like a set of lawnmower blades, centered around another low-topped island smack in the middle of the cap. The island cover seems likely to encourage a lot of camping cruisers and hide-and-seek destroyers. Previous events and clan battle seasons have shown us that while teams spawn in the northwest and southeast, play will typically revolve around an axis that runs from the C cap in the northeast corner down to the A cap in the southwest, while both teams vie for control of capture area B. 18 ships, two teams, one victor. It's time to play Shards. Take a look at what these teams have brought this time. <clears throat> Big bada boom. There we go. All right, let's position ourselves behind the AO one more time. Let's take a look if they brought anything sweet and juicy to this party. Two battleships, Republic and Kremlin. One Des Moines, one Henry, one Moskva, one Stalingrad, and one Smolensk. With two destroyers again, Gearing and Summers. For TWA, we have two battleships, Republic and Kremlin, so they are mirror match right there. But TWA goes back to their roots and they are showing with zero destroyers. Triple Des Moines, one Mino, one Moskva, and double Smolensk. This is the TWA that I remember. They are one of the first teams to start utilizing the tactic of no DDs and full just a lot of cruisers with a couple of battleships and it can work really really well the best chance you have is to take the caps initially with your destroyers before they settle in with their cruisers and do your best to try to reset when they try to move in and utilize your DDs with some smokes and torpedoes but usually they bring a lot of firepower. Now, they don't have a lot of uh, HP extra. It's only 6,000 HP in favor of um, TWA, even though they didn't bring any DDs. Uh, but that is mostly because AAO brought uh, Moskva and a Stalin, and TWA does not have any Stalingrad. So, because these, uh, these ships carry a lot of HP. Des Moines is detected from TWA very, very early. He's kind of broadsiding. He's trying to level out. The distance is great, so the chances of him being hit really well are slim. But the danger is there. I think everybody pretty much already fired everything they had. And I'm not sure most of these are going to get the second chance. Stalingrad did. Finally, some connections. We won't know how much HP he lost until... Oh, the gearing did receive 5,000 in return. Couple of more hits. We won't know how much HP he lost until we see him again. But, I mean, it would be ridiculous if he takes this torpedo, honestly. He should be here by now. Yeah, okay. Another Des Moines is spotted going for a C. Moskva and Kremlin were detected going for uh, behind A. So this Des Moines and this Henry are not going to be able to push through here. Because to kill a Moskva and Kremlin is going to take forever. So they might need to reconsider how they deal with A cap. Maybe just rush in with a Kremlin, get some rams and stuff. Applying pressure on the Des Moines, we'll see. That's only three ships. Three ships there, two ships there. We're still missing four more ships. 
I would not be surprised if B is gonna be left without much, uh, much stuff for TWA. Maybe some Smolensk. Okay, shots. Nothing too big. Summers is giving up on uh, C cap. He did spot a Des Moines. He does not want to lose any HP unnecessarily. They will. This this group will probably just work on slowing down the opponent. B, I don't know if they can really do anything in B. If this Stalingrad decides to go in there, and there's a Des Moines and a Smolensk here somewhere, and they start shelling her for every direction, the AO might find himself losing a, a ship of importance really, really fast. Now, this gearing could potentially drop a smoke for the Moskva, which is right now cutting him off. But there is a Des Moines with a radar right here. So... For one out of two of those minutes, he is going to be spotted even with the smoke. And there is Des Moines. Can they get some shots or punishments? Does not look like it. He's tucked in and nice and safe. Kremlin won't be able to do much. Henry apparently can lob some shells, but that's questionable for how long. I think the best chance AAO has here of doing anything is just YOLOing this Kremlin here and murdering Des Moines along the way. Because if he can murder that Des Moines and then trade for a ram on the TWA Kremlin, that could work. But that's, that's putting yourself in a lot of danger. And there's actually a fourth ship behind there as well. Des Moines, Des Moines, Republic, Smolensk. There's a Mino behind B. I think both teams are taking the initiative here. This is going to be a pretty hard thing to follow from both sides. As TWA decides to push on C. And stand their ground on A. And AAO is going to need to break them on A. Which is not going to be easy at all. It is not going to be easy at all. Kremlin kills the Des Moines. They do manage to put him down. The, the the plan that I told you they actually went for and it did work and it worked a lot better than I was expecting So that puts AAO in a pretty good advantage for now. However, this a uh, this Kremlin is now fully committed and He might be looking into outplaying or getting outplayed by this Kremlin But if I was him, I would shoot the Moskva and ram the Kremlin. Yes, they are behind on firepower but they already took one ship for free. <coughs> and I think that is exactly what we're going to be seeing here. The most important thing is to not potato this ram. Because if he potatoes this ram... Shoot the guns. There's the ram. No shots have been fired on the Moskva. I'm not sure why. So one Kremlin took down one Kremlin and a Des Moines. A is now in their control. And uh, TWA is left with a Moskva and a Smolensk here. AAO is left with a Henry and a Des Moines. If they can squeeze this Moskva in as well. Three versus two. They could pull something off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that's it. That's it. And this Stalingrad can keep this contested from the Mino. The only question is, can a TWA actually pull off any major victory? Um, four versus three on this side. Is if AAO plays this correctly and does not lose any ships and keeps kiting these guys and make them bleed, this is they're gonna be in a pretty sweet spot. However, they do need to not stop right now and they need to uh, they need to make something happen more on this side because they have the advantage. They are at a bit of a disadvantage on the other side, and my god, that Smolensk is very low, and he's shooting in the open! Oh no, that's gonna be him dead. That is going to be him dead very, very soon. Here comes the shot from Republic. That is enough to lose that. That was a... Well, I'm guessing he was radared by this Des Moines, but he should have left sooner. He should have recognized the danger and left sooner. However, now TWA's Des Moines is in the open in front of Republic. And if Republic does not get uh, put in some really ridiculous dispersion and manages to put this Des Moines out of the equation, then the trade would kind of be okay. 
although you have to bear in mind every trade ship for ship works in favor of TWA because they do not have destroyers so AAO has to keep themselves in the advantage of one ship this entire game if they want to stay competitive in the number of guns they have or they need their DDs to perform a miracle we'll see Mino and Smolensk are trying to create some crossfire here keep the daring away Des Moines is rushing the Moskwa this could go either way Moskwa is perfectly capable of murdering Des Moines uh, from the broadside and Des Moines is perfectly capable of doing exactly the same will there be a drive-by or are they just gonna try to work that Moskwa down I think Des Moines might just work the Moskwa down honestly and if Moskva decides to do anything crazy, Henry's gonna have some shots as well. Yeah, this is looking okay for, for Des Moines just now. And I think Moskva realizes she's in trouble. Cross shots across. Now Des Moines needs to full reverse and get the hell out of here and not allow the Moskva to go for the ram. Moskva is actually not going for the ram. Okay, that, that works very well for AAO. Because Henry is now stepping in. But this Moskva is now finding herself in a bit of a pickle situation as well. It's a bit of a challenge to take a look at both of these. I'm glad the AAO has finally realized that they need to push and take control of this left side. 21 HP left on the Moskva. Next volley. Moskva goes down. The TWA team on the left side has been dug out. The only thing that remains is the Smolensk, and according to their pings, he is running away. They have managed to successfully take control of A, and they have one ship advantage. They have 110 points advantage, and they are even 15,000 HP advantage. This is looking good for AAO right now. They just have to keep up the pressure. They have to keep up the pressure, and if this Republic can actually take down this Des Moines... This is going to be extremely well. Oh, missed shots there. Missed opportunity. TWA is going to have to force themselves in B now to contest. And that Republic takes a torpedo. I did not see any flooding, but these space camos are a bit of a weird ones. AO is looking good for now. However, we see where the Smolensk is. He's going to start shelling the Stalin. That Smolensk will sh uh, shell the Stalin. Stalin will need to fall back. This Des Moines needs to push that Smolensk. And I would say Henry would be a good support. But Henry is pulling back to support these guys. Which is okay if they keep the Moskva here. They get this Smolensk detected. If they manage to kill him, I think that's game. They just need to relieve the Stalingrad from too much pressure. And they are golden. Even if they lose this gap, if they can continue pulling off some kills. Really good radar coming off from that Stalingrad. He's in range of just about everybody. Shots are coming in on the Des Moines of TWA. Did he take too much lead? Oh, he took a bit too much lead. Oh, the show has begun. Eight minutes on the clock. Everybody is fully committed. We'll see how the clock will change <clears throat> when TWA actually takes B cap. 10, 27, 650. Yep. AAO does need that second cap if they want to win on points and time. Or they need a couple of kills. And I think kills are looking pretty tempting right now. HP wise they do have the advantage even though they have only uh, well they have two destroyers and TWA has got none but I think this Stalin is in bigger trouble than AAO realizes they need to make something happen and I'm starting to think that this Somers might try to do something extremely risky and YOLO into these two but he's just unloading torpedoes before he does that he does reload extremely fast but still they are going to lose this Stalingrad. You don't have hope to actually... No, I think this is a mistake. Sacrificing Somers right now to s try and save a ship that cannot be saved because he's too close for Hydros and Radars. This is one of the mistakes. We'll see how high 
it will cost them. They are bringing Republic like extremely low. If they can pull the second battleship down, that would be pretty, pretty good for, uh, for AIO because then their cruisers are not in that big of a problem of getting smacked in one go. All stations. Can they do it? Can they do it? There's still no heal coming up on this Republic. Stalingrad is definitely gonna go down. Here comes more shots. He's down to 6.2k. More HE spam. 3.8k. That was the Moskwa. Do they have anything more? If this Republic starts healing, he might even be allowed to get away. The Stalingrad has fallen. Can they bring him down? They should be able to. There we go! Now TWA has no destroyers, of course no carriers, and no battleships, it's all down to, this, uh, to cruisers. And AO still has one battleship, who is really relatively healthy. Des Moines is taking a lot of beating from the cross shots between this Moskwa and I'm guessing Republic from over there. If they can bring Des Moines down and then put a cruiser into B, that would not be a bad idea. However, I think AO might not be going for the caps and points. I think AO is going for the kills, which is the proper thing to do right now. Republic is going all in against Des Moines, which means this Des Moines is just a matter of time before he goes down. That Des Moines is gonna die. They're gonna be down to two Smolensk and a Mino. Can they pull some crucial kills before they lose these two Des Moines? Can AO actually... Take this game from TWA and we're going to be seeing the third match of this best of three. Because these two are definitely going to die. It's just a matter is it going to happen in 30 seconds or 2 minutes. First Des Moines goes down. Henry is going to die. But that's one for two when you're already leading one ship. Any second now this Des Moines is going to go down. They only have to uh, hope that this guy does not lose too much HP in the process. 1500 HP left. Oh, Somers is not the greatest when it comes to killing cruisers. He does smoke up, but if Des Moines has a radar, that's not going to help him. And if they lose this Somers, then that's bad. Republic is going for a C. And he just might be able to take it. However, they allowed Des Moines to escape on 1500 HP. That is really, really bad news for them. Because this gearing is going... Oh, oh, he's detected. He's detected. Here comes more shots. Oh, boy. This is really... This is... Mino gets black. Mino goes down. DWA is really close to losing the second game. Can AIO pull it back? Can they act? Yes, he can! Sommer takes down Des Moines. Now they have control of one cap. They're contesting two. They have 200 points advantage. Three minutes to go. TWA has no chance of capping anything for the rest of the game. AAO is most likely taking the second game into the third and last best of three of this quarterfinal and i think uh, 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 my voice is leaving me definitely i need to calm down they do kill des moines in a but that's too little uh there's still 120 points 130 points behind no caps even if they kills moskwa it's still not gonna be enough it's still not gonna be enough Let, let's just say for the sake of the argument they do kill moskwa and Smolensk does cap A, which I think he's about to go down. It's not going to be enough. They're too far behind on points. Two minutes and 20 seconds to go. AAO wins in one minute 20, which will change when the Moskva goes down. Smolensk goes down. Is Moskva on fire? Moskva is not on fire and she is not detected. The last ship is Smolensk in the enemy team and the best TWA can hope for now is to move in here, finish the Moskva and then surrender. Uh, that is pretty much it. Can he? Is he actually going to take some torpedoes too? No, I think he's too fast. Oh, pretty close. Pretty close. 
any second now, Moskwa will die. And that is going to be the last kill they can claim. And he gets smacked really hard. Even the gearing or the summers can now put him down. GG well played to AAO. This was an amazing battle to watch. An amazing battle to cast. They are now 1-1. One, one. And in this best of three, we are going to the third game. And whoever wins the third game goes into the semifinals. Whoever loses is out of the tournament. AAO is really making a comeback. They put out Rain, and now they're endangering TWA as well. This is spectacular. Let me put that on there. There we go. GG will play to both teams. This is a really, really awesome match to watch. Uh, congratulations for AO to taking the game number two. So we can go and see the game number three.